Hey guys, welcome back to a song or story a day. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different. Um, it's mostly based on my mood. It's going to be more of like a diary entry than a story. And it's going to be a little bit more introspective than, I guess, one of the more light-hearted tales that I've uh, been telling as of late. I mean, I've been thinking about my grandmother recently, but uh, more specifically, I guess, some of the things that she's told me or have thought of me. Um, well, when I was very young, and I was in elementary school, it was like first or second year, there was a concern among the teachers that I was very antisocial. Um, the kids liked me and that, you know, people wanted to interact with me, but I very often just stayed alone and did my best not to interact with others. I don't quite remember why I was like this. I think part of it was because I thought, well, I have other friends, or I have my brother at home, who I spend most of my time with, even as a kid. <clears throat> but I have, you know, I, I don't know why exactly I was like that. But anyways, that's, that's besides with the point. I mean, they told my grandmother all of this, and for the longest time, she was always concerned. Ever since, even into high school, she was always concerned, you know, you know, do you have any friends? Do you <laughs> are you doing in school? Now, I, I actually was fairly popular in, in both elementary and high school, so it wasn't that much of a concern for myself, but it's always something that she, uh, very kindly, I guess, in, in the nice, worrisome, grandmotherly kind of way, something that she was always uh, concerned about and checked up on. Now, fast forward some 15 or odd years, uh, my grandmother started having another concern. She was always asking whether or not, never to my face, but she was always asking whether or not I was depressed. She would ask my parents that quite often. You know, is he doing okay? Is he stressed out? You know, is, how's, how's his energy looking? And I've never had anyone ever say or ask me if I was depressed, because I usually present myself as very happy and, generally speaking, quite, uh, you know, quite confident and full of achievements and whatnot. But certainly there's a, a level of melancholy that I feel from time to time. And I wonder if it's something that maybe she caught wind of, that no one else seems to have ever really thought of me. And maybe the better question is why? I wonder what she saw. And now, unfortunately, it's a little bit too late to ask her, but I wonder what exactly she saw when she looked at me. Was it still the, the same kid who wasn't doing much to make friends in school? Is it something different as the years went by? I don't know. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror myself and I think, you know, what, what exactly is it that I'm looking at? You know, who am I looking at? Who is that staring back at me? Anyways, all very unanswerable questions in some ways, just me musing about myself and my thoughts. And, you know, it's something that hopefully one day I'll have a better answer for. But for now, it's well, it's nice to think about the times that my grandmother saw, I guess, parts of me that maybe I myself couldn't really see. Anyways, that's all sort of a long, windy rant. I, like I said, this is a very different video than the ones that I usually do. But I plan on doing this very rarely. And I also plan on having the whiteboard up eventually. Not today, but soon, I promise. All right? And you can hold me to it, even though I know there's not many of you who are watching and holding me to it, but you'll see. Anyways, thank you for listening to the rant. Um, it was, I don't know if it was helpful, but something that I definitely wanted to voice out, I suppose. Okay, see you for now.